28-7 at one point, and then I guess the offense kind of stalled a little bit. What was the difference from that point on? You know, they're a good team. I give them a lot of credit on defense, and uh, you know, we didn't we didn't capitalize on opportunities. Okay, well, what was said in the locker room after this one? You know, don't give up. You know, if they had just made a play um, before it happened, don't give up. You know, we know it's gonna be a dog fight, them type of games, and just you know, just play together. I mean, was that, was that the toughest loss you guys have had since you've been here? What would you say? Uh, for me and Kima, it's tough losses. It just hurts, you know, it's homecoming. You just lose like that. I, I, I really feel like, I really feel the other players, like other teams, when they lose like that. I would beat Kentucky, you know, that, that, that's probably the worst loss. You know, and then not going to a bowl game, I think that's probably hard. Like, it, it just it sucks. Were you surprised to see them come out and go for two like that? I kind of, uh, I kind of thought it was going to do that. You know, would. How impressed are you by Browning when he was down? Uh, we don't really watch him that much. So I just kind of hear the crowd. Um, we're really paying attention to Coach Wells. So I heard he's a really good player in the winter, obviously. So. Willie, did you notice them make any defensive adjustments to the offense? Or? No, I, know, I noticed they, um, at first they played off. Man, but it, they stayed in man coverage a lot. Third down, they went to a lot of cover on um, two and um, save it to safety from the top. Did any of you guys see the play, uh, the kickoff return by Keontae? Did you all see his knee down? Did you notice that at all? Uh, no, I didn't see it. Let's go to the crowd. I don't think it was down, even though I didn't see it. They were getting a lot of pressure in the third quarter, then you, you guys were able to kind of. Do some things late in the game to put points on the board. What did you guys do to adjust? Um, just when we just kind of stalled out, we just wasn't making the plays like we did the first half. You know, um, you know, just me taking sets. You know, um, just wasn't getting the ball out of my hands quick enough. Wasn't making the plays like we did in the first half. And I think they really didn't really do anything different. I think that was the difference of the game. K1, there was a, I think it was the third quarter. There was a before the uh, before the fumble. There was a play where it looked like Jack was wide open. Was it Kate and you? I think scramble was a case where you just weren't didn't see him on that play. Um, his reads on the completely other side of the field. I'm just a I'm a decoy route, so he ain't looking over there. So uh, you know, it's just one of those things where they they blew a coverage. And, you know, he's gone through his reads, and you know, that's what he did. When you guys had it going, you had the big lead. Uh, did you have a feeling that you know you were still going to hear from their offense and? That it was going to kind of be this kind of game. That's how it's always been with Monroe, so that's what we expected. They play really hard, with a lot of heart, and passion. You know, they're going to fight to the end. Jack, how do you guys kind of regroup after this, especially such an emotional loss? You know, um, you know, we have 24 hours, and then it's up to the seniors to, you know, get this team back together and, uh, you know, move on. Do you guys feel like you still could maybe fight your way back into a Sun Belt title? Definitely. We're not going to, you know, it's out of our hands a little bit, but, you know, we're going to take care of what we can control and um, we'll see what happens. You haven't had to deal with a tough loss like this in quite a while. Is, is it something where it might take uh, a little extra effort, I guess, to try to get over this one and move on to the next one? Uh, we go by the 24-hour rule. Um, so that's what you got to do. Like I said, it's up to the seniors to, to get this team to get over the loss and move on. You know, we got to go. Anything else, guys?